hello everyone welcome to this lecture video tutorial in calculus 3 enjoy learning hello everyone in today's lesson we will be discussing about infinite series of constant terms uh, after watching this whole lecture video you will be able to understand the idea of uh, infinite series and to give you a quick uh, illustration uh, if you have an infinite sequence of numbers and you add them is it possible to get it sum uh, for example, if you have if you have uh, a sequence a sub n which is equal to one, and then you sum it up to infinity, like summation of one where i starts from one to infinity, can you find the sum of that uh, series? Okay, and we know that for the finite uh, sequence of numbers, that falls in the topic uh, principle of mathematical induction in your algebra and trigonometric class or uh, fundamentals of mathematics class or maybe the right question is can you really get its sum maybe you will ask what scenario will the sum exist and as you know if after giving you an illustration on how to on how the infinite series works and we know that we will force it to work would you somehow believe that infinite series really works or maybe it's because we accept it because um, mathematician defined it already and you know that's a that's an interesting question to look into as you watch this lecture video well suppose now that it works then the question is is it easy to find the sum uh, the answer for this question is you know it's only one percent of the exercises in the literature in the mathematics book that case works but most of the time it is not to help you with this uh, dilemma there are topics onwards like divergence test comparison tab test uh, limit comparison test centrical test to name a few to help you know if the sum really exists so for uh, without further delay let's start lesson number three hello everyone welcome back uh, this is now the uh, formal discussion of lesson number three uh, in chapter one of uh, calculus three which is entitled as you can see here infinite series of uh, constant terms okay the main object of this uh, lesson is to introduce the idea of infinite series which is uh, actually an extension of the uh, familiar operation uh, which is addition which we know uh, it only applies to a finite uh, numbers a finite set of numbers and uh, that is uh, we wish to extend the addition to infinitely uh, many numbers and to define the what we call this one the what we mean by such a sum so as you can see in uh, lesson one and lesson two uh, we I, 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 I've said that uh, the idea of a sequence and the limit of a sequence is very important in the succeeding uh, lesson okay so th this is the reason why that you have to understand the idea of a sequence and the limit of a sequence and so on and so forth in the previous topic okay so uh, without uh, further delay, let's uh, define uh, what do we mean by an infinite uh, series. Okay, this is definition one. 
so definition one for our first definition uh, uh, definition one so we are given a sequence a sub n be a given uh, infinite infinite uh, sequence and uh, we define uh, we define t sub n to be equal to the summation of the elements of the infinite sequence where i starts from n naught up to n okay uh, usually uh, take note we take note here uh, n sub 0 will, all, will always be uh, equal to 1 uh, in most uh, cases Okay, so, but there are problems in the exercises of uh, some books like uh, Lighthold, TC7, um, Larson, and many other books in Calculus that, uh, that there are problems that starts from 2, from 3, from 4, and so on, other than 1. Some other books it will start from zero. Anyway, uh, in this discussion, we will uh, always take uh, n uh, to be equal to n n not will be equal to one. Okay. So then, uh, the sequence. Sorry the sequence t sub n is called and uh, let's try another color uh, say blue an infinite series okay so as you can see here uh, as you can see here in the definition, uh, our infinite series is defined to be this one, this notation. Okay. However, if you, I know you, you, you have read your module. As you can see, uh, as you can see in your module or in, in other books, that the infinite series is defined to be uh, this one. This is the symbol of the infinite series. Okay, where I starts from 1 to positive infinity and if you expand this this is equal to a sub 1 if you recall your uh, statistics uh, subject this is a very familiar uh, notation okay summation of a uh, summation of a sub i where i starts from 1 to positive infinity this is equivalent to a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus a sub 3 up to a sub n up to infinity. Okay. So this is what you saw in your module. But the question is, how come? How come that this notation will be... Uh, 
equal to something like this okay I will try to explain this okay I will try to explain this this is the explanation explanation I will try to explain this by uh, what they call this one by giving you an illustration on how the infinite series works so let me remind you here that you have to study and analyze analyze this uh, scenario okay please analyze this scenario okay uh, let me give you a simple illustration this is a very simple illustration uh, please um, what they call this one ask yourself okay ask yourself uh, about this ask yourself uh, how how to assign a how to assign a meaning to an expression uh, below So, for example, this is 1 plus uh, 1 half plus 1 fourth plus 1 eighth plus 1 over 16 plus 1 over 32 and so on. Okay? Ask yourself about this. If you add these uh, numbers... I've, as I've said in the introduction, uh, is there a, a value for this? We know that for a finite set of numbers, of course there is. But what if you have an infinite uh, numbers and you add them? Uh, is there uh, really a, what they call this one, a, a sum for this? Okay. So... Uh, I will give you a hint for this. The hint is uh, uh, let's try this one uh, blue or green uh, say orange or pink uh, the way to do this is uh, is uh, not to uh, try to add uh, all the terms all the terms uh, at once because as you can see we cannot do that okay we cannot uh, do that because it's impossible so we cannot do that uh, we know we know that we cannot we cannot do that but rather uh, to add the terms 
uh, one at a time one at a time uh, from the beginning and then and then uh, we look for a pattern we look for a pattern in how uh, these sums or shall I say partial sums partial sums uh, grow so what we will do here is as you can see as I've written here uh, do not try to to add all the terms at once because actually we cannot do that but rather what we will do here is to add the terms one at a time starting from the, the beginning and let's look at the patterns or uh, in how the the sums uh, since we, we do it uh, uh, one at a time then we can we can say that uh, the, the, the right term is partial sums okay and observe how the partial sums grow okay so as you can see here uh, before I, I, I proceed let me uh, remind you that uh, you cannot always uh, uh, do that uh, me, me, meaning to say uh, you cannot always find a pattern in when, when you look at the partial sums okay you cannot always find that patterns so that that is why in the in the beginning of this video i i explained that uh, there will be a test that you will uh, have to to perform uh, like the divergence test the limit comparisons test the direct comparison test integral integral test and so on and so forth in order for you to test that if, if the uh, the, the the sum is a convergent or divergent meaning convergent meaning there is a sum then divergent is if it doesn't have a sum okay so there are sequence uh, there are there are series that uh, uh, we cannot look for a pattern meaning to say we cannot uh, we, uh, actually uh, put a, a, a value for a given uh, infinite series but anyway as we go forward um, we will uh, encounter that uh, scenario okay so let's try to to uh, follow the hint as i breathe in here so here let's have another uh, it's black uh, let's uh, let's observe uh, the partial sums of the of the given uh, series okay uh, and then this is the the value of the the, the given partial sum so remember don't uh, please don't forget that what we, we, that we have, what we are doing here is to to follow this hint okay this one one at a time from the beginning and then we look for a pattern okay uh, after explaining this you will be able to understand uh, why the infinite series is denoted as uh, in this form or why is it that uh in the definition this is uh what we call the the notation for the infinite series but you can write this as of this form okay so that's uh basically the the answer of the question how come okay so let's uh start okay uh as you can see here 
I have a a sorry I have a ruler here I'm just trying to make it a straight line and then let's go to 100% okay and then make a line from here so that I will have a straight line and also this one. okay and then let's move to the other I think we have to copy this one can I copy this one copy and then uh, is this space okay Can I use the button control paste? Okay, control V. Another. So let's uh, stop at this five lines. Okay, so first, uh, first, uh, we will uh, actually denote our partial sum as T1, which is 1. Why? Because as you can see in the notation, this is it say it says that we add the terms one at a time so we have the first and then add one plus one half and then one plus one half plus one fourth and then one plus one half plus one fourth plus one eighth and so on and so forth okay that's basically what we are doing okay for the second sorry second we have t2 which is 1 plus uh, 1 half and third we have t3 1 plus 1 half plus 1 fourth and so on and so forth up to uh, the n term which is t sub n which is 1 plus 1 half plus uh, 1 fourth plus 1 eighth and so on and so forth up to as you can see there is a pattern which is this is equal to 2 to the n minus 1 okay so as you can see here uh the value of the partial sum is uh, this can be expressed as 2 minus 1 and this one for the second term we can express this as 2 minus 1 half for the third one we have 2 minus 1 fourth and as you can see here uh, there is a pattern actually this is equal to 2 minus 1 over 2 to the n minus 1 again let me remind you that this is not always the case this is not always the case okay that uh, all the problems in infinite series will uh, will have a pattern like this we cannot always look for a pattern that is why as I've said again and again we have a test okay so as you can see here uh, why did we we, we get this uh, this value here okay so as you can see we, we observe the 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 pattern and we found out that this is 
actually 1 over 2 to the n minus 1. Okay? So, indeed, uh, you can see, uh, indeed, uh, uh, there is a pattern. Uh, but, this is not always the case. Okay? This is not always the case. And we observe, uh, we observe that uh, the partial sums uh, form a sequence uh, whose n term is uh, this one t sub n which is equal to 2 minus 1 over 2 to the n minus 1 as you can see here the n term sorry okay so what happened okay let's analyze the situation uh, as i've said uh, do not try to add all the terms at once but rather you have to add the terms one at a time so imagine this one uh, are given so if you continue one and then one plus one half and then one plus one half plus one fourth and then one plus one half plus one fourth plus one eighth and then one plus one half plus one fourth plus one eighth plus one over sixteen and so on and so forth up to the end okay up up to the end term and then continue to n plus 1 term, n plus 2 term, and so on and so forth, up to infinity. So, what happened here? Okay? What happened? So, what happened is that what you did is if you, up, if you uh, approach n up to infinity, then actually you have a, a sum. If you take the limit as n approaches to infinity, then you can uh, you can basically uh, put a sum to uh, to this infinite series okay so I, I I hope you 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 able to comprehend what uh, what I'm discussing uh, in this uh, what do you call this one in this uh, uh, ex in this example okay in this explanation so as you have noticed uh, if we uh, if we take uh, the limit uh, as n approaches to positive infinity uh, applied to uh, t sub n uh, what you will see here is that we have uh, the limit of t sub n as n approaches to infinity which is equal to the limit of 2 minus 1 over 2 to the n minus 1 as n approaches to uh, infinity. Okay? And we know from our calculus 1 subject that we can actually distribute this one 1 over 2 to the n minus 1 
as n approaches to infinity, as you can see, the limit of a constant. This is 0. And this is 2. The limit of a constant is a constant. And this is equal to 2. So, with this, uh, with this, we can say that uh, the series, the series 1 plus 1 half plus 1 fourth plus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 16 plus 1 over 32 plus is equal to 2. Okay? So, are you not amazed of the result? Are you happy? Okay, that you that you're able to understand the the the, the meaning of adding uh, adding uh, numbers, no? infinitely many numbers, and as we can see there is actually a, a sum okay but not all series uh, have a, a, a sum of course okay so i think uh, i explained it a lot and i believe that uh, you have now the uh, idea on how the uh, infinite series uh, works okay so I leave here a, 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 a question okay a series of question so that will uh, be a guide to you uh, uh, in the in in further uh, discussion of this topic okay so the first question is this is in relation to the the previous uh, series or example okay uh, is the uh, sum uh, of uh, any uh, fi uh, finite number of uh, terms uh, in uh, in uh, this series uh, equal to two. So, what is your uh, answer here? Okay. For the second question, uh, can we actually uh, add an infinite uh, number of terms? Um, one by one, one by both by one by one. So, what is your answer here? Okay, so what is your answer for that question? Okay, but uh, as you can see in the in, in our discussion. We can still uh, define uh, the 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 sum by defining the limit of the sequence of a partial sums as your n approaches to infinity. And uh, congratulations that uh, our uh, knowledge of uh, sequences 
and limits enables us to break away from the uh, confines of uh, finite sums. I con uh, congratulate you for that. Because okay, as you can see, you can add uh, a finite number of uh, uh, finite numbers, but in terms of an infinite uh, numbers, and you add them, so the idea of a sequence and the limit of the sequence comes into play. So uh, I know that uh, you have the graphs or the the understanding now what it means uh, to be a what they call this one the the, the infinite series and. As you can see, uh, what I am trying to say is that if you look at the okay, what happened? Uh, our our uh, definition of the infinite series. Uh, this is actually a very uh, uh, beautiful what you call this one notation for the infinite series. Unlike this one. And like this uh, notation okay so I, I hope that uh, you understand but if not try to uh, uh, watch again the video and then try to analyze what happened and then finally you will be able to uh, comprehend uh, what do we mean by an infinite series okay so for uh, the next uh, the next part, I will be explaining uh, the uh, uh, definition number two, which is also uh, very important in uh, determining if uh, if the series is uh, convergent or divergent based on the uh, the the sequence of partial sums. Okay, so thank you so much and uh, wait for the next part. Okay. Hello everyone, this is uh, part two of lesson number three, which is uh, to discuss uh, definition number two. So as you can see here, uh, in the screen, I've already uh, written the definition to save us time. Okay, so you are given an infinite series. I already discussed this in uh, the part 1. And T sub n be the sequence of partial sums defining this uh, infinite series. Then, if the limit of uh, the n partial sum exists and equal to a number t, then we say that the given series is convergent, and that t is the sum of the given infinite series. Otherwise, it is divergent and the series does not have a sum. So, as uh, I explained in part 1, our example, uh, the sequence of the end, uh, what do you call one, the end uh, partial sum is uh, 2 minus 1 over 2 to the n minus 1. Uh, since the uh, the limit of the nth uh, partial sum exists, then that that limit is the uh, what you call this one the sum of the given infinite series. Then, since uh, the the limit exists, then the the series is convergent. Uh, if the series is uh, uh, divergent, then the series does not have a sum. So actually, if the series is convergent, if you can, because I've said before that uh, you cannot always find a, the, the, you cannot always use that method in, in the previous lesson. 
okay in our, our part one uh, so that's why we will use a, a test to determine if the series is convergent and we can stop at that we cannot get the, the sum of the series okay so anyway let me try to explain this uh, uh, this definition because uh, there are problems that uh, involves in uh, solving uh, in, in using definition number two <coughs> okay so let's have a discussion here so let's have a discussion discussion here okay so given uh, let's try a color green uh, given uh, the infinite series which is denoted as this one I starts from 1 to positive infinity we expand this one just like before okay this is our given infinite series uh, consider uh, the following uh, sequence sorry sequence of partial sums okay by the way uh, a1 a2 a3 up to an are called uh, the terms of the sequence uh, the terms of the series okay but the elements of the sequence are called uh, the, the, the the object inside the what do you call that the the sequence are called elements okay they are called elements but this one we use here the term terms because we have here addition if it is uh, if it is multiplication we have factors we use the term factor okay anyway this is just a recall uh, this sequence of partial sum uh, t1 which is a1 I already explained this uh, in the uh, uh, first part of this uh, video a1 plus a2 <coughs> t3 this is a1 plus a2 plus a3 t4 this is a1 plus a2 a3 plus a4 why do we do this please go back to our the first part of this video uh, the answer is of course to uh, to put a meaning of the uh, uh, of this notation here the infinite series okay so notice here that uh, the second term can be we can write this one as t1 plus a2 okay the third term can be uh, we can rewrite this one as t2 uh, plus a3 and t4 can be uh, we can rewrite this as t3 plus a4 I hope you can follow that's uh, very easy to 
understand okay then okay sorry we have green <coughs> so what will happen if you have t sub k this will become uh, a1 plus a2 plus a3 up to a sub k and we can we can write this one as t sub k minus 1 plus a sub k okay so t sub k here is what we call our uh, this is what we call our KTF partial sum okay this is the KTF partial sum if your notation here is n we have the n partial sum if your notation is uh, p then we can we write this as PTF partial sum it depends uh, upon the notation okay so what happened here is that we have a formula so this implies uh, this implies sorry can I have another color like pink uh, this implies that we have a formula here which is the kth partial sum can be written as t sub k minus 1 plus a sub k okay so this is okay, that's my xiaomi my favorite pet okay so that's a a formula we can use this formula to solve uh, problems uh, later so let's have an example uh, let's have an example in using definition one and definition two okay, let's have an example so what happened here example before i continue i will uh, go back to my pet xiaomi uh, she is crying okay so okay uh, let's continue i'm sorry for that one my cat is crying okay so for example number one list the question is let's list the the five terms of the sequence of uh, partial sums t sub n and find the formula for t sub n in terms of n okay also determine if this infinite series is convergent or divergent and if it's convergent find its sum so what uh, what's uh, basically the, uh, the the problem what is asked in the problem Okay, so first is you are you are to list the you are to list the sequence uh, five terms of the sequence of partial sums okay and then after that you are going to find the formula for p sub n in terms of n okay so this uh, question here find the formula for t sub n as uh, I've said before, there are problems that you can uh, find the, the formula for T sub n by using the method that I've shown you in, uh, in the part 1. But there are problems or there are uh, examples or problems that we cannot find the formula for uh, T sub n. We can only say that it is convergent, but we cannot uh, find the 
the uh, formula for this at n okay but uh, the, the the next one is we are going to determine if the series is convergent or divergent so meaning to say we are going to take the limit of uh, the nth uh, partial sum and then uh, if it is convergent then we can find the sum if it's not then of course it's uh, uh, it doesn't have a, a sum okay so for our uh, problem uh, letter a sorry uh, I guess we I use and uh, this one and starts from 1 to positive infinity 1 over n times n plus 1 okay <coughs> so let's have a solution uh, solution so we are going to list the five terms okay so uh, t sub 1 uh, which is as you can see this is if we expand this we have starts from 1 so we have 1 uh, we have 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 over if this is 2 we have 3 times 2 we have 6 plus this is 3 uh, 3 plus 1 is 4 times 3 we have 12 plus 1 2 3 4 5 times 4 is 20 another uh, let's continue 1 2 3 5 5 plus 1 6 6 times 5 is 30 6 times 5 is 30 plus that 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 up to 1 over n times n plus 1 plus that 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 okay so our t1 here is this is our let's have another color this is uh, a1 this is uh, a2 this is a3 a4 a5 and this is our a n okay so a1 so a1 is one half okay this is uh sorry uh, let's try call this is a1 so t1 is equal to one half and the formula for T2 is A1 plus A2. So as you can see here, T2 is one half plus, uh, I call this one one over six. Okay. So try to add that one. So this is six LCD. 6 divided by 2, 3 times 1, we have 3. 6 divided by 6, 1 times 1, 1. This is 4 over 6, or this is 2 thirds. 4 over 6, 4 over 6, 2 thirds. Okay. So, how about T3? 3, T3 is A1 plus A2 plus A3. So, but the problem here is that if you will substitute the value of a1 which is 1 half a2 which is 1 6 and a3 is 1 over 12 then you will have to get the lcd uh, you have to no 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 you have to add all the three but if you will use the uh, this formula okay substitute when k is equal to 3 then this is t2 plus a3 okay and we already solved uh, t2 which is 2 third okay but our a3 is 1 over 2 
Okay, this is helpful because if you extend this up to uh, up to k is equal to 10, then imagine there are 10 terms. Okay, there are 10 terms and then what will happen? So, all you have to do is compute 49 and then plus a10, then we only have, we, we left two terms only. If you have t sub, t sub 100, then there are 100 terms, of course. So, if you add that one, what will happen? It will take time. So, this formula here, this one, is very, uh, this is very helpful, okay? Uh, because it will reduce to two terms only, okay? So, get the LCD, which is 12. 12 divided by 3, 4 times 2 is 8. Plus 12 divided by 12 is 1, times 1 is 1. So, we have 9 over 12. So, 9 over 12, you can divide... You can multiply both sides by 3 over 3. So, we have 3 over 3, 12 divided by 3, 9 divided by 3 is 3, 12 divided by 3 is 4. Okay, reduce to lowest term. Okay, so we have, the question is, we have 5 terms. Okay, T sub 4. We will not use this one. We will uh, use this uh, formula. So, T sub 4 is T sub 3 plus A4. And we know that our T sub 3 is 3 4, but our A4 is 1 over 20. Okay. So, get the LCD. So, 20 divided by 4 is 5 times 3. We have 15 plus 1. We have 16 over 20. So, if, we, if you uh, reduce that one, 16, 24 over 5. Okay. And the last one is T5, which is T4 plus A5. T4 is 4 over 5, but our A5 is 1 over 30. Get the LCD, which is 30. 30 divided by 5 is 6 times 4, 24 plus 1. 30 divided by 30 is 1 times 1 is 1. So we have 25 over 30. Divide by 5. 25 divided by 5 is 5. 25 by 30 divided by 5 is 6. Okay. So these are the uh, 5 terms. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, this is the five terms, five terms of the sequence of partial sums. Okay. So, our first, how do you call this one? Our first uh, question is now answered. So, for our second, find the formula for T sub N in terms of uh, N. Okay? So, what we will do here, so let's uh, let's put a button. Uh, no, let's a button. Let's try a a box. Okay, another box here. Okay. <coughs> for the second question, find the formula for T sub n in terms of n. So as you can see here. We will use uh, the idea, no? So, in the second question, uh, we will use the idea of a partial fraction. 
fractions okay so recall in your calculus 2 about this topic we know that there are four cases for uh, this uh, topic so recall that uh, in calculus 2 anyway uh, our a sub k our a sub k we know that this is or our a sub n or a sub k okay is uh, one if we will use uh, okay remember that this is this one okay this is our a sub n okay our a sub n so remember our n here starts from 1 okay uh, if we will use uh, the letter k we can replace that one as 1 no 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 we have 1 over uh, k times k plus 1 okay and then uh, we will use the idea of partial fraction so this means uh, 1 over k times k plus 1 can write this one as even this is linear this is a over k plus b over k plus 1 I'm sorry okay <coughs> and then we can multiply both sides by k times k plus 1 also here uh, k times k plus 1 and answer is 1 is equal to a times k plus 1 plus bk okay and then distribute this is a k plus a plus bk Okay, and then combine the similar terms. This is a uh, k plus b k plus a. One is equal to factor out. No, factor out our k. Okay. So what happened what happened here is we have uh, two equations so we can equate and a plus b is equal to 0 and uh, a is equal to 1 okay so from here we can have we can substitute this is easy we can we, we, we do not uh, perform elimination method or uh, we cannot we, we, we will not use elimination method but rather we, can, we will use uh, uh, substitution method so substitute a is equal to 1 to the first equation so this is our first equation this is our second equation so b is equal to a negative a sorry this is negative a but our a is 1 so this implies here this implies uh, um, and our so this implies that 1 over k times 
times k plus 1 is equal to r a is 1 so 1 over k plus no this is minus minus 1 over k plus 1 substitute here our b is negative 1 so negative times positive we have negative so this means that uh, this means that our a sub k this means that our a sub k is 1 over k minus 1 over k plus <coughs> k plus 1 okay so therefore uh, since uh, since we know that uh, since we know that our s sub uh, since we know that our t sub n sorry since we know that our t sub n is equal to uh, a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 plus a5 plus up to a sub n so if you try to substitute this i will use this uh, notation okay uh, not the other uh, we will use this uh, formula uh, we will not use the, the given which is this one no, we will not use that one okay, we will use this okay so substitute a1 is uh, 1 minus 1 half plus uh, 1 half minus 1 third this is our a2 this is our a1 plus continue uh, when n is equal to 3 when k is equal to 3 this one this is one third minus one fourth plus one fourth minus one fifth and so on uh, if you have noticed what is uh, before a sub n? We know that this is a sub n minus 1. So, before a sub n is a sub n minus 1. Okay? So, as you can see here, uh, let's write what is n minus 1. So, if you substitute n minus 1 here, this is 1 over n minus 1 minus 1 n minus 1 plus 1 is n okay but what is a sub n so replace k by n this is 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 1 okay so what happened here uh, let me remind you this is your a1 now we will have another color they are almost similar to have uh, pink a1 a2 a3 a4 this is n minus 1 this is an okay so let's erase this one uh, let's try um, yeah. if we remove the grouping symbols if we remove the grouping symbols so from here remove the grouping symbols plus one half minus plus one third minus one fourth plus one fourth minus one fifth plus that 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 to one over n minus one plus one over n it's one over no this is minus sorry this is minus 
plus minus 1 over n plus 1. So what happened here? We are almost done. Negative 1 half plus 1 half is uh, 0. Negative 1 third and 1 third is 0. You can uh, see the pattern now. Okay. So, <coughs> we need to say before this, you can, before this uh, term, so we have a term here which is the same as this term. So, we can cancel that one. Cancel, cancel. So, what remains is 1 minus 1 over n plus 1. Okay? So, this is our uh, t sub n. So, this is our t sub n. <laughs> and we are done. Since the question, as you can see here, find the formula for t sub n in terms of n. Okay? Terms of n. So, we are done with, let's put a check, the second question. So, now we are going to answer the third one, which is to determine if the infinite series is convergent or divergent. And if it is convergent, then we have to find its sum. Okay? So... For our third question, we are going to determine the limit of the n partial sum as n approaches to infinity. Okay. Uh, this is 1 minus 1 over n plus 1 as n approaches to infinity and as you can see here we are distribute this is very easy 1 over n plus 1 so n approaches to infinity so the limit of a constant limit of a constant is 1 the limit this one is 0 this is 1 minus 0, which is 1. Okay? And so, we are done. The, the question is to determine if the sequence is convergent. So, meaning to say, uh, since the limit exists, then the given series is convergent. And therefore, we have a sum. So, we have a conclusion here. Uh, therefore, uh, therefore, the uh, infinite series is convergent. Uh, that is uh, summation of 1 over n times n plus 1 your n starts from 1 up to infinity this is equal to 1 okay and so we are we are done sorry can I Put another color like green. Okay. So we are done. Okay. So for another problem, letter B, letter B, sorry, sorry.
letter B. Uh, let's have another problem here. Uh, this is uh, 6 over... No, this is very easy. Uh, let's say 1 over mm, 9 and squared minus 3 and minus 2. One plus infinity. Okay. So for the next example, we will compare the previous method of solution to see if such method works in this kind of problem or situation as as we shall see we find that the previous uh, methods uh, the previous method will not work for this kind of problem so let's start uh, but before that let's uh, recall uh, recall the previous problem recall the previous uh, example so our previous example is given in this form uh, summation of 1 over n times n plus 1 sorry n plus 1 where n starts from 1 to positive infinity okay but uh, and also, uh, I forgot to mention that this uh, problem is an example. Uh, this is an example of this is an example of a what we call telescoping sum. Telescoping uh, sums. Uh, sum. Okay. So for the next example, uh, we have summation of n cube plus one over n cube where n starts from 1 up to positive infinity so let's have a solution okay uh, what we did before is that we write the uh, sequence of partial sum so we compute uh, t1 which is this is equal to a1 uh, anyway but before that let's uh, expand this when n is equal to 1 we have 2 when n is equal to 2 we have 9 over 8 9 over 8 sorry uh, when n is equal to 3 we have 28 over 27 when n is equal to 4 this is 65 over 64 when n is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 we have 1 2 6 over 1 2 5 plus that 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 the n term is n cube over n cube plus one over n cube plus that 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 and as you can see here this is our a1 
a2 a3 a4 a5 and this is our an okay so we compute for the first uh, sequence t1 this is 2 t2 is uh, t1 plus a2 which is 2 plus 9 over 8 which is equal to 25 over 8 so when we have t3 we have t2 plus a3 which is 25 over 8 plus uh, what is a3 a3 is 28 over 27 so if you will use your calculator this is uh, equal to 899 over 216 for t4 we have t3 plus a4 899 over 216 plus our a4 is 65 over 4 ah no 64 and the sum if you will use a calculator this is equal to 8947 over 17 lastly we have t i'm sorry t4 plus a5 this is 8947 over 1728 plus a5 is 126 over 125 and the sum is equal to 133,000 uh, no, 1,336,103 over 216 sorry 216,000 okay that's the first uh, five terms of the sequence of partial sum. Uh, so, uh, no, not so. Note that. Note that our a sub k our a sub k is uh, k cube plus 1 over uh, k cube and as you notice here we cannot use uh, partial fraction because uh, the denominator is uh, factored already so what we will do here is try to distribute the denominator to the numerator so this is 1 plus 1 over k cube so this implies that our t sub n is uh, equal to we know that this is the n partial sum a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 up to a n our a1 if you will use this uh, you will use this uh, equation or expression sorry let's try a color this one guys what happened
will use that when k is equal to 1 this is 1 plus 1 over 1 cube plus when a is equal to 2 this is 1 plus 1 over 2 cube plus 1 when k is equal to 3 this is 1 over 3 cube when k is equal to 4 this is 1 plus 1 over 4 cube plus when k is equal to 5 is 1 plus 1 over 5 cube up to n this is 1 plus 1 over n cube so as you can see here if we remove the uh, grouping symbols what will we see here is this is equal to 1 plus 1 over 1 cube please do not simplify 1 over 2 cube 1 plus 1 over 3 cube what will happen if you simplify this it will result to something that we can see a pattern okay, 1 plus 1 over n cube and then uh, notice that uh, how many ones are there okay. 1 2 3 4 5 up to this is n so notice here that there are n ones okay so this is n plus the remaining can be written as uh, 1 over 1 cube plus 1 over 2 cube plus 1 over 3 cube and so on up to 1 over n cube and as you can see here this is equal to the summation of 1 over n cube as your n starts from 1 up to I think I uh, this is 1 over i cube where i starts from 1 to n okay so what we observe here is that the if you take the limit then you cannot easily find the the limit of this expression okay so meaning to say that the previous example example letter a 1a uh, the, the method that we use there does not work for this kind of uh, problem or situation uh, meaning to say that there are uh, problems uh, exercises in, in the books in the module that I I gave to you that the first method will not work okay so and when I try to use a software to evaluate this expression this is equal to something like this uh, I use uh, a software this is equal to this one uh, 2n plus 1 over 2 plus 
uh, notation is something like this uh, one okay so uh, we shall as uh, we we can say that there are problems that we can use just like in example number one and there are problems also that we cannot use that method just like in example number uh, uh, number one letter a uh, letter b okay so that's the second uh, example and let me uh, remind you again that uh, I will write a note here note let's try a red uh, black one note uh, <coughs> uh, in in most cases uh, it is not possible to uh, obtain uh, such uh, an expression expression for t7 okay so meaning meaning uh, we must uh, find uh, other methods other methods for determining uh, whether or not uh, a given uh, infinite series infinite series uh, has a sum uh, has sorry has a we must find other methods whether or not a given series has a sum okay so but of course if uh, in, in, in an exam uh, the problem was asked to use the the, pre the the method in number 1a then of course you can use that method but uh, if not, then you have to conclude that the, the that that kind of solution is it will not work. Okay. So for our next uh, topic, we will be discussing about this theorem. This is our first test. This is what we call the divergence test. So for two uh. For number two, this is what we call divergence test. For theorem one, it says here that where is that? It says here that if the series, if the infinite series summation of a sub i, where i starts from n naught up to positive infinity, is convergent, then the limit uh, of the of a sub n as n approaches to infinity is equal to zero so how will you use this uh, this theorem theorem one it says here that if you can show that the series is, is convergent then automatically the limit of the a sub n as n approaches to infinity is zero is that not uh, it doesn't say that uh, but but there are but there are uh, also uh, infinite series which is divergent but uh, the limit uh, is uh, what we call this one is 
uh, not not zero is equal to zero okay so you can use this theorem theorem one uh, if you can use this theorem theorem one if the series is convergent and automatically the a sub the limit of the a sub n is uh, equal to zero so just like in example number one we have an illustration here let's say illustration example number one uh, like uh, example number one previous example summation of 1 over n times n plus 1 where where n starts from 1 to positive infinity so for our solution here wearing this have another color say green solution our a sub n is equal to 1 over n plus 1 and if we take the limit we know that from the previous example this is convergent convergent because the the, the sum of this uh, series is equal to 1 so by taking the limit of a sub n n starts from 1 to positive infinity this is limit of 1 over n times n plus 1 clearly uh, this is 0 okay so if you look at the theorem our previous theorem it says, it says here that if the series is convergent and the limit is uh, the limit of the a sub n is as n approaches infinity is zero okay but how about this example number two summation of um, <coughs> 1 over n where n starts from 1 to positive infinity okay uh, by the way this is uh, this is this series is well known this is what we call a harmonic series harmonic series and this is uh, this series this series is known to be a divergent series divergent series okay so let's accept that for now uh, that this series is actually a divergent series okay so let's uh, use theorem 1 uh, if uh, that theorem it, uh, will works okay a uh, solution so what happened our a sub n is 1 over n therefore the limit of a sub n limit of 1 over n 
as n approaches to positive infinity this is zero this series the conclusion of the theorem it says that the limit is zero okay the limit is zero but the series is convergent so let me correct myself before that uh, there are series which is uh, the which are the series which are divergent but the limit of the uh, but the limit of a sub n as n approaches to infinity is zero and there are cases like that so we cannot uh, assure if the series is divergent then uh, the limit is not equal to zero there are times that the limit is also equal to zero okay so the the contrapositive of theorem one okay the, this is the contrapositive positive contrapositive what is contrapositive this is uh, if you are given p implies q if you are given p implies q the contrapositive is what the contrapositive sorry let's try that one the contrapositive of the statement uh, p implies q is negative q implies negative p so as you can see here this is what we call divergence test the contrapositive of this statement this one is uh, the, the negative sorry sorry the negative of this statement is if it is equal to zero then this the negative is not equal to zero this is correct this is negative by the way this is our this is our rp and this is our q okay but if you use the contrapositive this is negative q implies this is our negative p okay so as you can see here the negation of convergent is of course not convergent or divergent so this is the divergent uh, divergence test okay so uh, this will also apply for uh, uh, for this will also apply uh, no no this includes also uh, when the limit does not exist so meaning to say just a, when you say not equal to zero means it is one one half one fourth nigga and so on and it, it also includes uh, does not exist or includes positive infinity or negative infinity so meaning to say if this the limit of the uh, of, of this uh, sequence is not equal to zero then automatic the series is divergent that's one way of uh, saying that the series is uh, uh, divergent okay so and also notice that if the limit is equal to zero if it is equal to zero then we cannot say that the series is convergent it doesn't say that way okay so just like the harmonic series the limit of the a sub n of the harmonic series is zero but we cannot uh, say no we cannot say that uh, since it equal to zero then we negate also this one it is converted no that not that one okay so another example to illustrate theorem number uh, two uh, this one summation of uh, negative one to the n four 
where n starts from 1 to positive infinity. Okay. Uh, solution. Our a sub n is negative 1 to the n times 4. But the limit of a sub n as n starts from 1 to uh, as n approaches to infinity, uh, we know that we know that this is a sequence whose elements are when n is equal to 1, we have negative 4. When n is equal to 2, we have positive 4, negative 4, positive 4, and so on. Negative 1 to the n, I, oops, sorry, to the n, 4. Okay. So, the answer is, does not exist. Okay. Does not exist. Okay. So, meaning to say, since this is does not uh, the, the limit of the seven is not is does not exist. Uh, therefore the given series is divergent. Okay. Based by theorem two. Uh, sorry. What happened? Uh, by theorem 2 okay so last problem Num problem number 4 Problem number four. This is again, I will not solve this one. This is assignment plus n squared minus one, n starts from one to positive infinity. This is assignment. Okay. This is uh, assignment. Okay. So for for I take all this one for the next topic for our next topic we will be discussing about uh, geometric series okay so this is the definition of the geometric series a geometric series is a series of the form summation of uh, a times r to the n minus 1 where n starts from 1 to positive infinity and the n partial sum of the series is given by this formula of course with r not equal to to 1 okay so let's try to explain this uh, definition okay geometric series geometric geometric series this is of the form summation of this one. positive infinity so when n is equal to 1 this is a 
plus a to the r plus a to the r squared a to the r cubed up to uh, a to the r to the n uh, minus 1 uh, r to the n and so on up to infinity okay and the the n partial sum of this series the n partial sum partial sum is given by this formula 1 minus r to the n uh, 1 minus r with r not equal to 1 okay and this series is very known that this series and uh, geometric series this the geometric series converges to the sum a 1 over 1 minus r where your r is between uh, negative 1 to 1 it doesn't include 1 but if r is uh, the absolute value of r is greater than 1 then the series diverges uh, if you recall your if you recall your algebra and trigonometry this can be uh, simplified the absolute value can be simplified as negative 1 less than r less than 1 okay and then for this inequality this is a negative infinity to negative 1 union 1 to positive infinity so meaning to say for uh, for the value okay, for the value of r which is between negative 1 and 1 the geometric series uh, converges and the sum is a over 1 minus r but uh, if the series diverges then your the value of r must be in this interval okay so let's have an example let's have an example here example uh, example example 1 summation of 1 over uh, to to the n plus 1 where n starts from 1 to positive infinity uh, solution sorry let's try another color solution so if you are given a series try to uh, know uh, if it's a familiar uh, in nature like this one uh, like this example 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 number one this is clearly a, a geometric series why so notice that we have to we have to write it in this form okay the we have to find our a and we have to find our r, our our r okay so let's simplify this uh, we have n minus 1 so meaning to say we have to express this as 
uh, one uh, two to the uh, times two to the uh, n minus one but this should be two to the two why as is uh, if you recall your algebra and trigonometric class we have the same base then all you have to do is to add exponent n minus 1 plus 2 n minus 1 plus 2 okay n minus 1 plus 2 this is n plus 1 clearly this is equal to that to the uh, the exponent of uh, 2 so uh, as you can see here as you can see here we express the given seri series as a geometric series uh, let's further simplify this is one fourth this is now our a one fourth times this is uh, sorry uh, one fourth one half times one half to the n minus 1 okay where n starts from 1 to positive infinity okay so what you see here sorry uh, let me drink my coffee first from here we can say that our a is one fourth and our r is <coughs> one half okay therefore notice that it starts from one there are problems in in or ex in, ex in in other books exercises in the books that it will, that the index will start from from zero or start from three so be careful about that the geometric series starts from 1, okay? But I will give you an example uh, later for if the index will, start, will not start from 1. So it says here that the geometric series uh, converges uh, to a sum, converges to the sum, A over 1 minus R. So as you can see here, this is our sum. Okay, converges because our r is between. This is we verify that our r satisfies this inequality. Okay, so is our r? The answer is of course. Is our r satisfies this inequality the answer is of course yes so therefore this series is convergent and the sum is a over uh, a over a over 1 minus r okay so since our a is one fourth and a our r is one half so just plug in okay. so one half and this is one fourth so one four times two over one this is one half okay so we are done let's try another example 
Another example. Another example. You have summation. 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 I forgot. Summation of let's say and starts from let's say zero let's say uh, three uh, let's say uh, five over three to the n minus three Okay. Solution. This is clearly a the form of the series is clearly a geometric series. So let's uh, fit this. Uh, given to the formula for the geometric series okay uh, notice that the given series starts from uh, zero or index starts from zero then notice that in the definition the index starts from one so therefore uh, we have to simplify this first we should uh, express it as uh, just like the definition of the geometric series so we have when n is equal to zero we have five over three to the negative three plus summation of uh, five uh, let's uh, copy 3 to the n minus 3 okay so this is 5 times 27 plus summation of <coughs> how do we express this Sorry. How do we express this uh, series as uh, how to express uh, this series? Uh, in the form uh, summation of a r to the n minus 1 n starts from 1 to positive infinity okay so notice that no notice okay Notice that we can write so the denominator we need n minus one. So how to express the the denominator? Uh, what is needed in the exponent of uh, three here? So that it will equal to n minus 3. So I guess uh, we should put negative, negative 2. Okay. I think this is negative 2. Because negative 2 plus n minus 1 is n minus 3. Okay. So from here we can
From here, we can express this as uh, 5. No. Uh, we can express express this as... Oh, sorry. We can express this as one to positive infinity uh, this is five uh, sorry we have one over three to the n minus one but here we have uh, five three to the negative two to the negative two. Okay. and then 5 times 27 plus uh, you can simplify this uh, this expression here this is equivalent to 5 times 3 square okay this is summation of 9 times 5 is 45 okay 45 times one third raise the power of a minus 1 from 1 to positive infinity so from here uh, from here our a is 45 and our r is one third and as you can see uh, our r satisfies is uh, our r satisfies this inequality of course the answer is yes okay so therefore this series uh, is convergent so what is 5 times 27 let's have a calculator 5 times 27 is 135 plus this is a a is 45 over 1 minus r our r is one third okay so 135 plus uh, 45 divided by two third 1 minus one third is two third so the answer is 135 over 2 and plus 135 over 2 plus 135 the answer is 405 over 2 so this is our final answer okay so that's how you are going to use um, uh, the definition let's try an example where uh, the series is divergent example this one 3 to the n plus 1 n starts from let's say uh, uh, 1 uh, 0 to 1 to infinity okay so solution solution notice that uh, how will we write the given as uh, this expression here as a times r to the n minus 1 so I guess we can write this as 
3 n minus 1 so what should be our exponent of 3 here to make it n plus 1 so this must be 2 2 plus n minus 1 is n plus 1 okay positive infinity okay so as you can see here uh, back As you can see here, as you can see here, our A is 9 and our R is 3. The question is, uh, is does this satisfy absolute value of R less than 1? The answer is no, no, no. So therefore, this series is divergent. Okay? This series is divergent. Okay? Divergent. Divergent or divergent? No. This series is this series. This series is divergent because by by theorem by theorem. by theorem what theorem by this theorem okay this theorem divergent okay This series is divergent uh, by the theorem above. Okay. okay, so we are done with uh, our first theorem. So let's look at the second theorem. So what happened? The second theorem, it says here, if you are given a series A sub n, where n starts from 1 to infinity and this series also B sub n, uh, differing only in the first m terms, then either both series converge or both series diverge. So what does this uh, series mean? Okay. What does this series mean? Okay. So let's have an example. Uh, I guess I have to write the example this at the top. Uh, let's have an illustration of the theorem. Uh, illustration. Illustration. Uh, consider consider the harmonic series harmonic series uh, summation of 1 over n where n starts from 1 to positive infinity uh, which is known to be which is known to be divergent 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 okay so 
consider also also the series uh, below which is given I will write I will pick color red uh, summation of summation summation of 1 over n plus 5 where n starts from 1 to infinity okay okay so solution solution Uh, let's copy the problem first. This is 1 over n plus 5. n starts from 1 to positive infinity. Let's try to expand this summation. This is uh, when n is equal to 1, this is 1 over 6 plus 1 over 7 plus 1 over 8, 1 over 9 plus and so on. 1 wow. over n plus dot 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 okay notice that the geomet uh, that the harmonic series if you expand uh, if you expand this expand the harmonic series uh, this is 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third plus one fourth plus one fifth plus one six plus one over seven plus one over eight plus one over nine plus up to one over n plus that as you can see here it this uh, series that we compare uh, to the harmonic series which is known to be conver uh, divergent it differs only for how many terms so as you can see here uh, how many terms uh, let's try the red one so notice that this is our uh, series okay this is summation of this is summation of 1 over n plus 5 where n starts from 1 to infinity okay it differs only to how many terms 1 2 3 4 5 differs only for 5 terms differs only uh, 5 terms okay so it says here in the theorem if you are given two series and it differs only in the first m terms our m here is 5 then either the series both converts or both diverge since we compare to the, C, to the harmonic series which is known to be divergent then this series also is that we compare is also divergent by the theorem okay so we can write this as 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 1 2 3 4 5 plus 0 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 7 plus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 9 plus that 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 up to that that, that up to infinity okay so this series is uh, divergent 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 by the uh, theorem so this is how you are going to use this theorem the last theorem below okay oh sorry so let's expand this up to 100% Anyway, 
and that's how you are going to use the the butyurem okay let's expand up to 100 percent okay so that's an illustration for this theorem so you are going to you have to find a uh, this is the the given the problem and then you have to find an uh, a well-known series which is uh, known to be convergent or divergent then compare them if they are differing only for the uh, first m terms and if this series is convergent then this the 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 problem is also convergent but if the series you compare is divergent then the 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 problem also is divergent okay that's uh, how you are going to use this theorem so for the last one finally the last one uh, this is a uh, very uh, familiar uh, this is the same as the finite uh, summation so you are given a convergent series a sub n and b sub n the sum of the first series is a while the sum for the second series is b so which is known to be convergent convergent and the sum rule says that if this series a sub n and b sub n b sub n is convergent then you can add the their their sum you can also get the difference of their uh, the difference of the of this of the given series and you can also multiply a constant to the given series if it is convergent uh, as you can see here in the corollary sorry corollary okay this corollary is uh, 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 a consequence of theorem number three which says that if the series is convergent then you, you multiply a constant then the sum is all you have to do is to multiply the sum by k okay so it says here in the corollary every non-zero constant multiple of a divergent series diverges so meaning to say if the series is divergent and you multiply a constant uh, uh, number then the series is divergent of course your constant here is not equal to zero but if it is equal to zero then meaning to say the series is convergent because zero times a number is zero of course so number two if one of the series is convergent and the other is divergent in the theorem above then this series the sum and the difference both diverge meaning to say that uh, if the, the a sub n is convergent and b sub n is divergent if you add them then the series is divergent if you get the difference then it is di uh, divergent so there's nothing more to explain in this theorem so for our next lesson we have lesson number four uh, infinite series of positive terms this is uh, we, are, we are now in, uh, in the uh, in the uh, series of uh, tests just like what I've said before about uh, the, the limit comparison test the direct comparison test integral test the alternating series test root test the ratio test and so on okay we are nearing to that uh, discussion so hopefully uh, I hope you enjoy the discussion and please repeat again and again if you don't understand what I am saying thank you so much again for listening God bless everyone